Ever wondered how traditional English dishes would taste if they were vegetarian? Today we delve into this exciting culinary adventure. Imagine the comforting, hearty flavors of English cuisine, but entirely plant-based. We're talking about classics like shepherd's pie and fish and chips, reimagined without any meat or fish, but still brimming with deliciousness. It's about time we explore the potential of vegetables in traditional English dishes. Get ready to surprise your taste buds with these vegetarian twists on classic English dishes. First on our list is the English classic, shepherd's pie. But how can we make it vegetarian, you ask? Let's find out. As with any dish, it all starts with the ingredients. For our vegetarian shepherd's pie, we'll need a medley of vegetables such as carrots, peas and corn, along with a generous helping of lentils. The lentils are the star of the show here, as they'll be replacing the traditional meat filling. We'll also need some vegetable broth, a dollop of tomato paste, a dash of Worcestershire sauce, and a handful of aromatic herbs and spices to add depth and flavor. Next, let's get to the cooking process. Start by sauteing onions and garlic in a bit of olive oil until they're soft and translucent. This forms the base of our filling. Add in the carrots, peas and corn and cook until they're just tender. Now, it's time for the lentils. Pour them in, along with the vegetable broth, tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce, and your chosen herbs and spices. Let everything simmer together until the lentils are cooked and the flavors meld together. While the filling is simmering, we'll work on our potato topping. Boil some peeled and chopped potatoes until they're fork tender. Drain them, add a bit of butter and milk, and mash until they're smooth and creamy. You can also add a bit of cheese if you like for an extra burst of flavor. By now, our filling should be ready. Pour it into a baking dish, smoothing it out evenly. Then, spread the mashed potatoes on top, creating a seal over the filling. Bake in a preheated oven until the potato topping is golden brown and crispy. The aroma wafting from the oven will be a sure sign that your vegetarian shepherd's pie is ready to be served. And there you have it. A hearty, delicious, and completely vegetarian shepherd's pie. Now let's move on to our next dish. Next, we're tackling a seaside favorite, fish and chips, but without the fish, of course. How, you wonder? Stay tuned. Let's start with the ingredients. You'll need a block of tofu or halloumi cheese, depending on your preference. Both choices are excellent substitutes for fish, offering a texture that's satisfyingly similar. For the batter, you'll need plain flour, corn flour, baking powder, and a light ale for that perfect bubbly crispness. And let's not forget our chips. Go for chunky potatoes, which will bake to a golden perfection in the oven. Begin by pressing your tofu to remove excess moisture, or if you're using halloumi, slice it up into chunky pieces. While that's setting up, let's move on to the batter. Combine your plain flour, corn flour, and baking powder in a bowl. Then slowly pour in the ale, whisking as you go to prevent lumps. Aim for a smooth, thick consistency. Next, take your tofu or halloumi and dip each piece into the batter, ensuring a generous coating. Then, into a pan of hot oil they go. You're looking for a golden, crispy exterior that's going to give you that authentic fish and chips crunch. Don't forget those chips. Slice your potatoes into hearty chunks, toss them in a bit of oil and season with salt. Spread them out on a baking tray and pop them into a preheated oven. Give them about 25 to 30 minutes or until they're golden and crisp. While everything's cooking, why not whip up a quick tartar sauce? All you need is some vegan mayo, capers, gherkins and a squeeze of lemon. Mix it all up and set it aside. Finally, everything comes together. Your chips should be golden and crispy, your tofu or halloumi beautifully golden and crunchy. Pair it all with a dollop of your homemade tartar sauce and perhaps a wedge of lemon for that final touch. And voila, savor your vegetarian fish and chips with the same joy but without any guilt. And there we have it. Vegetarian takes on two traditional English dishes. We dived into the world of vegetarian shepherd's pie and fish and chips, proving that flavor and tradition can coexist without meat. Going vegetarian never means sacrificing your cherished dishes. It's merely a new, exciting way to experience them. So, are you ready to try these vegetarian versions of your favorite English dishes? Remember, good food knows no boundaries. Until next time, keep exploring and keep cooking.